Today I'm joined by Mackenzie Ledoon, one of the crop extension specialists for the government of Saskatchewan, and she is here today to give us the crop report. So thank you so much for being with me today, Mackenzie. Thanks so much for having me. So Mackenzie, let's start with harvest. It was starting last time I talked to you. So where is harvest at in the province of Saskatchewan as well as I know we've had a little bit of moisture here in the Northwest. So how has that slowed down harvest here in the Northwest? Producers really made some fantastic progress this week. And right now Saskatchewan is about 21% completed harvest. This is ahead of our five-year average of 14% and also ahead of our 10-year average of 11%. Our producers, like you said, got a little bit of rain this past weekend, so their combines are stopped for right now. However, they're ready to get back into the field when moisture improves a little bit. And so with how tough it has been in some areas of the province, particularly in the southwest, how have producers been feeling so far as harvest has begun here in Saskatchewan? You know, our Saskatchewan producers are really fantastic and they're really resilient. And they're really showing the resilient spirit where it takes a lot more than just a little bit of rain showers to get them down. But their spirits are still pretty high overall in general. And in general, a lot of producers are pretty happy to be able to get their combines out and get them ready to go whenever they can. And so Mackenzie, we're quite a bit ahead of the usual average for harvesting here in Saskatchewan, though the Northwest is a tad bit behind the rest of the province. Is there any worries in terms of harvesting for those producers that are a little wetter as soon enough as we come to a close here in the summer that frost might start coming out? So I don't think that we necessarily need to be worried by this at this rate by any means. We are still we are still in August, so we're still sitting pretty good and our like our fall cereals are off. A lot of our pulses are starting to come off and our producers are really starting to dip into their spring seeded pulses and spring seeded cereals as well. And also they're starting to cut into their oil seeds as little as well a little bit. So we are still making really good progress. As for inclement weather, of course, as we get later on to the season, frost becomes a little bit more of an issue. But I don't think they're at that point yet. And frost, of course, it's up to Mother Nature and the weather will be what the weather will be. But usually we're still pretty far away from frost right now. So we should be pretty good. And so we've talked a little bit throughout the year about inclement weather as well as pests and diseases. Talk to me about some of those that we're seeing as harvest is now beginning. So we did get some reports of some hail moving through some parts of the province. If that's the case, of course, hail is all variable on whether it takes out part of a crop or all of the crop. Um, producers are encouraged to reach out to Saskatchewan Crop Insurance or their crop insurance advisors to talk about their hail insurance options and to possibly put in a claim if the damage is bad enough. As for our other pests, this week we kind of had a little bit of wind, some localized flooding, again our droughts, our grasshoppers and gophers are still prevalent in Saskatchewan and then they're still taking out the crop a little bit. A lot of our producers are also noting some acid yellows in the crops, which is a viral disease that is most often identified in canola, but it can affect a lot of different crops as well. And that's simply some green vegetative growth in canola where there should actually be flowers. So it does affect yield just a little bit, but producers are just starting to notice that this week as they move into their canola fields and they go to scout them for moisture levels. And then Mackenzie, we've been talking a little bit about haying and green feeding for our livestock producers and just talk to me about how that has turned out for the province of Saskatchewan, especially since there's been new programs coming out to help livestock producers in terms of feeding their animals. And so talk to me about those programs as well. So our haying has wrapped up for the province and our hay yields were published a couple weeks ago. A lot of our producers are also getting into their silage and they're silaging right now as well. As you said, Saskatchewan did release a couple of programs or a couple of announcements related to feed and reserving and maintaining breeding stock within our livestock populations here in Saskatchewan. Those are going to be uh, administered through Sus the Saskatchewan Crop Insurance. So if our producers are wanting to talk about those at all, they're welcome to phone the, our Agriculture Knowledge Line at 1-866-4537-2377 or else they can reach out to Saskatchewan Crop Insurance and they can get those nitty gritty details for them to figure out if they're eligible and what they're eligible for exactly. Thank you so much for all the information, Mackenzie, and we'll hopefully talk to you very soon. Thank you so much, Thomas.